Hi, I'm Steve from Sounds Heavenly. If you haven't heard of Sounds Heavenly, let me tell you a little bit about who we are. You can see details at soundsheavenly.com and basically we are the UK's leading provider of specialist cables for Bang & Olufsen Music Systems. Now today we're going to be looking at um, something that probably almost every B&O enthusiast has got somewhere in their home and that is the venerable BR Lab 3500 Link Room Speaker. Originally sold in the late 1980s as the LCS 9000. Not sure what LCS stands for, but if anyone knows, please add a, a details in the comment. Um, then to become the BR Lab 3500. Now this was intended as um, a purely a link room speaker. So it would normally be connected to something of the period, um, for example, a Bayer Sound 9000 music system or typically Bayer Vision 7 TV. Now, what we've come up with, which um, we hope you will like, is the opportunity to use the speaker directly with any phone computer, non BNO TV that has a headphone socket or other portable device. Um, there's no need for a BNO master system, no need for the big master link connection that was uh, usually in place before. Now all that is needed is um, obviously your music player of choice, the speaker and to activate the speaker a BNO remote control, so either BLink 1000 or BO4. So they will be used to switch on the speaker and then the device that's connected will actually control the music, so volume, bass, treble and tone. So let me show you how it works. On the desk behind me, we have uh, conveniently prepared a BLab 3500 and an iPad. So the iPad is connected and not quite sure what we found here on YouTube, but uh, let's see what we can find. Hi, I'm Steve from Sounds Heaven and Cables. My goal is to help you to get the best from your Bang & Olufsen music system, TV and speakers. Apologies for the terrible video playing there, but hopefully that gives you an idea of um, what's possible. All we have is a connection from the headphone socket of the iPad, and that plays directly into the speaker. So uh, let me show you how we can do it. I'll turn off the speaker, unplug, and show you the connections. Always easier said than done. Possible in seconds when no one's watching. Takes seemingly hours when done on a live video stream. So, let me bring this up to camera for you. What we have very carefully hidden in the back are, let's see if the camera can find this. There we go. So on the left side, we have a small round socket, which is either master control link or power link depending on the version of the speaker. In the center is the long master link connection which will be where your speaker will have been connected previously on a BNO system and on the right is the mains power socket. I'll put that down because as with all classic BNO products that is exceptionally heavy. Now the it's important to stress at this point that there are two versions of BLab 3500. The Mark I version has the small round socket on the left marked as MCL for master control link. The Mark II version needs a different cable and that has the same small round socket but it says power link. We'll also note at this point that it's not a conventional power link socket, it's not fully operational. So unless that speaker has had a um, a specific software update, you can't use it as a normal PowerLink speaker. So it's intended by BNO for use on a MasterLink network as, as the only speaker in a link room, or in this case, it can be used standalone. So the first thing to do if you want to look at um, 
using your speaker standalone is have a look on the back. It can be awkward if it's wall mounted, but it is essential. And check whether your speaker says MCL or power link on the small socket. Then head to soundsheavenly.com. In the search bar at the top right, if you type in 3500 and press return, you will come to the first option that shows will be the cable you need iPod, TV, Airport Express to BioLab 3500. And basically, any device with a headphone socket can be used directly into the speaker. So, let me show you the cable. There are two versions. As this is a BLAB 3500 Mark I speaker, this is the Mark I version of the cable. This one has a 7-pin DIN socket going to the headphone plug for the music player. If you have the Mark II speaker with a power link socket, then you will receive a 5-pin cable. They are wired differently inside, you do need the correct version. Please ignore the four digit type number on the speaker, that uh, does not tell you which version you have. So we, what you need to see is basically, does the socket say MCL or Powerlink? On the web page you will see that there are full descriptions of how to confirm which cable you need and also how to activate the speaker. So I'll show you that very briefly. Again, um, what should be a very simple process of connection will no doubt take a little longer on video, so please bear with me. We've got the mains power lead, and this time I'll bring the speaker a bit closer to camera so you can see what's uh, shown on screen. So with the mains power lead plugged in, let's bring the speaker up to camera. And with this being a Mark I speaker, we'll use a slightly different code to the later ones. So basically, a B&O remote is used to then activate the speaker in standalone mode. And what we'll do is press menu, zero, four, go. And the display, hopefully you can see from there, will then say MCL select. The later versions will say Powerlink select. Now at that point, once you've got MCL select or Powerlink select showing in the display, you can put the B&O remote back in the drawer, it's not needed. All of the control of the speaker will be from the, the phone, the iPad, the TV, or whichever other device you're using to control it. So the, the only time you'll need to put that code in is when you first power it up, or after a power cut, or if you've left it for a long period of time and decided to switch it off. The uh, cable is then connected, and uh, you have a, a standalone speaker ready to use. If you already have uh, the speaker hardwired in via a Masterlink cable and you're not in a position to change the cabling, we also have other solutions available. So in those cases, please get in touch at uh, soundsheavenly.com. Let me know the full details of your system and we can look at helping you with a specific setup for your needs. If you have any questions, please go to soundsheavenly.com and uh, click on the contact form to ask any questions that you may have. We're always happy to help. Thank you very much.